after a job interview, within 24 hours, call to follow up. After a job interview, within 24 hours, call to follow up. It is a myth. Uh, actually, this is a bit of a, tw a, a trick question. 24 hours, you would not follow up on a job interview um, but you would within 24 hours, send a thank you note or a thank you email. And we're going to talk about that. So within 24 hours after an interview, you want to, um, send a thank you note, but to follow up, to find out what the status of the job is, usually it's recommended that you wait two to three days. I would say closer to three days, even maybe as long as five days. And if you haven't heard back, then you could call to follow up. So it's a bit of a trick question. I get that. Sorry. Uh, but Bobcat, he wasn't tricked. He's still number one. Question nine. Information is listed from oldest to newest on a resume. Information is listed oldest to newest on a resume. What, who can you trust to take from it to hold you accountable? And no one is exempt from this. As a person of color, you might say, oh, Kim got it. Kim's a, she's a, she's a DEI director. She got it. Nope. I've got my own one. All right. Information, of course, is listed uh, newest to oldest. And that includes all categories, like education, not only your work experience, but including education and even like organizations or clubs you belong to. You want to list the newest first and then the oldest last. All right. Next question. Number 10, due to the fast change in technology, job hopping is acceptable in the 21st century. You know, the world is different than 10, 15, 20 years ago. So it's okay to hop around and change jobs every few years. Is that a truth or a myth? It is actually a myth. It is really more common that job hopping happens and people are not staying at their employers uh, for long periods of time anymore. You know, the, the generation of people that stayed and worked for the same company for 30 years, that's going away. But, you know, changing jobs every two to three years is still really frowned upon. It shows a lack of a strong work ethic. And really, we want to avoid that. We still want to teach our students that that isn't really looked upon highly. So, um, you know, you want to stay in your job five to 10 years, things like that. That still matters. Bobcat doing a great job. 11 out of 15. Persuasion means exaggerating. Persuasion means exaggerating. Of course, that's a myth. Most of you got that one. Um, persuasion actually means to sell and exaggerating is, you know, borderline dishonest, borderline deceit. But on the opposite end, we also want to make sure we don't underestimate our experience and skills. So, you know, we have to sort of teach our students, you want to sell yourself, don't exaggerate, but also don't underestimate. And we're almost done. We only have three more questions. You don't need a cover letter anymore, especially for applying online. No need to do cover letters because most job applications are now done online. All you need to do is fill out the online application and send in the resume. Is that a myth or a truth? It is a myth, yes. Cover letters are still really important. They serve a purpose. Um, while resumes are neutrally reviewed for keywords, a resume will so at some point be looked at by an actual person. And so you want to include that. It just often sets you at um, a step above the other candidates. All right, Bobcat still in the lead. Maybe this question, this next one might get you, Bobcat. Here we go. You can 
go over the one page resume limit if you have relevant experience and cannot it cannot be contained on one page you can go over the one page resume limit if you have relevant experience that cannot be contained to one page is that a truth or a myth It is a truth. If you have relevant experience, you can definitely do a second page. You know, this isn't going to be for many of our students. Many of our students will still be doing one page resumes. But um, if you have experience that's going to help you land the job, uh, you can do two pages, but don't list all the jobs you've had just to list all the jobs you had. Still try to keep it concise. All right, two more questions left, I believe. Bobcat, you're just hard to beat. All right, 14 out of 15. Applicant tracking systems, search resumes for keywords, so no need to customize my resume for every job. Applicant tracking systems, search resumes for keywords, so no need to customize my resume for every job. That is a myth. And what they're saying nowadays is almost every Fortune 500 company uses an applicant tracking system. Basically, it's a computerized program that searches the resume looking for keywords. Um, you know, many applicants apply online. They don't have the experience. They don't have the qualifications. They say, whatever, it's worth a try. I'm just going to fill out the application online. It's super easy. So that applicant tracking system sorts those resumes for someone to actually then physically look at them. Um, but the applicant tracking system is looking for keywords. They're going to compare your resume to whatever the job description is. And, you know, this is a really common way recruiters filter resumes. Um, so important that we actually do customize our resume for every job because of applicant tracking systems. All right, we're almost done. Our last question, Bobcat's still in the lead. Let's see if this last question uh, changes that. Always include your objectives at the beginning of your resume. Always include your objectives at the beginning of your resume. That is a myth. Objectives are outdated. They're self-centered and they're really not necessary. They're truly a waste of space. We're going to talk about what you should use instead um, in this presentation. So we have some uh, suggestions for you. Instead of having uh, objectives, which is very outdated, what do, we, what do we put instead on our resume? All right. So let's see who won. The podium's coming up. Number three, Kathy Van. Yay, Kathy. Number two, Sally got 13 out of 15 right. And number one got 15 out of 15 questions right. Bobcat 